Welcome to Odin's Harem, everybody. Today we'll be playing a new game that I just got now while it was still on sale. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening it, first time we're checking it out. And let's just get into it and then we can talk more about it. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Let's do the tutorial. You found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Nice. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. Nice. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. To, to remember your alchemy skills. Okay, so this guy actually already has uh, knowledge in this area from before. Okay. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms. I'm going to guess that these are terrarias. Terra meaning earth in Latin. And these are the water blooms. Take two of each from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse, drag them to the cauldron and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. The alchemy map. This is the laboratory wall. Uh, it shows you, or maybe it's here, I don't know. It shows you the path the ingredients create once they're added to the cauldron. Okay. Can I take two if I hold control? Oh, that just made wonkiness happen. Do that. Let's take one at a time. Yeah, it shows you the path the ingredients create once they're added. See, there's a path from here. I've had, uh, I've seen like half of a playthrough once. I didn't want to spoil it too much, you know. Just get a brief idea of what the game is like. Anyway. After adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up. It has no effect on the current potion. So I guess we start staring. I suppose it goes in the direct... Oh, no. It'll just follow this path regardless of how I move the spoon. Okay. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. Uh, to add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Shouldn't I get it even closer to the middle though? Anyway, use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. I just can't help but wanting to move it at least to the X here. Okay, now we can blow the coals. 
until an explosion effect. There you go. You've unlocked a new effect, healing. Finishing a potion, perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion, healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Okay. I don't understand much, like two bottles and all that, but uh, okay, we'll get there. Grinding ingredients. Ah, I love working with these things, pestle and mortar. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to recreate the same potion using just one Terraria and one Water Bloom. Take Terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. The more you grind an ingredient, the longer the path the ingredient will make on the alchemy map once it is added to the cauldron. Uh, let me just refresh my memory on what, uh, what makes grinding it better. Mortar. Unlock their potential. Helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Okay. So we're going to try to create the same thing, but... Uh, okay, take the Terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar and grind it up. Terraria is one of the most famous alchemy ingredients. It got its name for magical properties, best revealed in Earth Element recipes. I really love this stuff, but I hope uh, I get a chance to talk more about it uh, in a few minutes. That looks fully grinded, doesn't it? Uh, okay, I guess it's not a mush yet. Add ground terraria to the cold. Completely grind the water bloom using the mortar and pestle. Basically doing the same thing. I love the graphics and everything. Ah, and you can see that X is also moving. So that defines the path. Can I get it? Yeah. So that defines the path. Stir the potion using the spoon. Talent potion. Okay, now heat it up. Saving a potion recipe. Excellent! You made the very same potion but used half as many ingredients. Your uh, first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal. Oh, by the way, this is a weak potion of healing. I suppose because it was just one of each. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you made, save it in the recipe book. Then you can make that potion in the future with the click of a button. Hmm, okay. Save the recipe for your current position, uh, for your current potion. Press save recipe to save it. Well, definitely healing. But the regular healing I would rather want to save, but okay. Nicely done. You have saved the recipe. It's now finished making the potion. Okay, so you first save it and then uh, click finish. Moving between rooms. You are the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also to also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop! For moving between rooms, use the navigation buttons at the edges of each room. The WASD keys, or the arrow keys. To go to the shop, uh, click the navigation button on the left, or press the A key 
uh, or the left arrow key. Okay. Offering potions for sale. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand, just in case. Uh, okay, if a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Gotcha. Offer a potion for sale. Take it from your inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Well, let's try the one, uh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. The amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shown in the sell button. I guess this. Click the sell button to sell the potion. Maybe here. Sell for 10. Okay. Uh, Alice is walking down the street, minding my own business, when a flower pot fell out of nowhere and bonked me right on the head. Good thing I've always had a thick skull, or I'd be out cold. But I've got a nice big bump on my head now. What can I rub on it to make it go away? Well, I suppose healing, uh, I mean, it sounds right. Yeah. Haggling. To make more money on a potion, you can try haggling. Successful haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion, but unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite, make it drop. To start haggling, click haggle. Try haggling for a better price. Uh, so uh, there's things we can talk about. So we can talk about food. So it's very easy topic. What did you have for breakfast or lunch today? A common topic to start a conversation. Or you can talk about the weather. Well, we'll start with the very easy. What did you have for breakfast or lunch today? Uh, do I have to? Pre oh, I, should I think you should need a preservative. Well, I probably needed to press it on the last screen. <laughs> now I know. I'll buy this potion, but I po won't pay very much. Fair enough. I'll take ten. Uh, lack of suitable potions. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the labor laboratory and make the potion they need. There is no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Enchanted Garden. Go to the garden to gather ingredients for the potion. It is located to the right of the laboratory. Hello! Mice have infested my hut, even though I have a cat. The cat just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please. So... I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. Ooh. So it looks like we'll have to make a uh, poison, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's go to the enchanting board. The, yeah. Uh, and then it's right again, I guess. Here. Gathering ingredients. The enchanted garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day new herbs and mushrooms will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on the ingredients to gather them. Collect one terraria and one fire bell. Well, that does look like a 
Orville. Yeah. Very fitting name, huh? Mm. It's a little hot to the touch. It says. Go to the laboratory to create a new potion. Okay, so now we have to make it. The customer needs poison, which means you need to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map. And most of this is like your own adventure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made from one terraria and one fire belt. Try making a potion yourself. Don't forget to use all the alchemy equipments available. Don't be afraid of failure. You can always try again by pressing the button below. Try again. Okay. So let's grind this up. Can I try that again? This looks like it's going to be fun. Let's... Yeah, yeah that that's, looks good. Mm -hmm. Now let's grab this. The fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Now let's get to the fun part. There. Now, let's get the potion blue. Maybe I have to move. Can you move it closer by stirring? No. Okay. Let's try again. L let me try. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had to see that the line went all the way to the X. And then with this one, I yeah. wanted to go to, all the way to the X. And then all the way to that, there, right on that icon. Yeah, okay, that's the mistake I did last time. Now I get it. Yeah. Well, we're both learning here. Yeah. I've just seen a little bit of uh, a gameplay online. There. Poisoning. You unlocked a new effect. Okay. Let's save that recipe though, mm -hmm. and finish the potion. Return to the shop and sell the potion to the customer. Okay. Yeah. That, that, I don't think you need to have Yeah. That's a good price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just sell it. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It is located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom to end the day. Okay, so the laboratory was here and then up. To end the day, click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. Yes. That's a nice view. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice, uh, nice graphics. Huh? Uh, excellent! You have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you found a new, uh, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle. And don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck! Yeah, I guess that's already here now. But where's the ladle of water? Okay, uh, so I guess this is grab an ingredient from your inventory, grind up an ingredient to reveal its potential, toss the ingredient into the cauldron. So those are the basic steps. I don't know where the bottle of water is. Yeah. Uh, shop upgrades. Broken out. Here's a little. Use. 
Oh, well, maybe it's some, yeah, this is what I already have. I didn't know I had a broken alchemy. So I guess it's already down there. So that's okay. So now we're on day two, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go down. I'll just turn these green. And uh, let's see. See, this one's called Wind Blue. Oh, that's probably the element of what of air. Definitely. Oh, so like you have element of air, element of water, and element of fire. I'm not sure what the terraria is. Probably Earth. Yeah, it, it, I know that Terra is Latin for Earth. Oh, so it has to be. Right? Yeah, so that I, that I already know. So I have a we I have an idea for a potion. But we want to find out what this one can do. Yeah, too. And when you when you hover over them, you see which direction they go. Oh, yeah. Like if I want to make this, I want to mix together things that will guide me here. But if I want to, let's say, discover what this is that I haven't discovered before, I'll have to... This kind of goes that way, but then I'll also have to find something that goes down. So maybe Firebell and Terraria would bring me here. I guess so. Firebell and Terraria. Okay, well, I have seven of them, so we can experiment. Let's see what one yeah. does. See, the shit. I no, I didn't look at the, I forgot to look at, yeah, let's yeah. go all the way to that picture. Yeah, not that the icon. mistake we got in the last time. Right. And I'm not sure about the water thing. Oh, I remember that in the video I saw. Like, if you're kind of close to the icon, but not close enough, you can add a little more water and it helps you get closer. So let's see what we discover. <clears throat> oh, but you didn't add anything. With Wait, we're we didn't get them. No, yeah, I'm just trying this, just to see what this one has like what is what what powers does this plant have just by itself i want to see if anything well yeah i don't think because it didn't do anything with it, so okay so well we can try wind bloom and fire bell yeah that might be interesting yeah. I uh, see. Oh, we're going to the left. Why did I think it was to the right? Uh, well, I saw that it was to the Oh, okay. See, now we're right over that icon. So this should probably make something over there. Oh, but there's like a... I don't know what this does. I don't know if that's good or not. The whirlpool. Whoa. Whoa! I kind of like that tail for us. Collect medium. Okay, I, I don't know what it said, but the. Uh, I don't know. Now we're like stuck in this uh, with bones around. Yeah. Is, is this. Uh, a potion now? No. You haven't made a potion yet. Okay, so let's go up to this then. Yeah. Would you think that was a wind bloom? So a little bit more wind bloom. I don't want to go much further than that. Because I want to get that thing. Oh, okay. Oh, the bones are bad. I think there should be something around here, though. Okay, well, what about these? I guess go up. Uh, yeah. Because I think the bones are bad. Maybe, okay, so more wind bloom. Maybe, do we have to go all the way to the end of it? Yes. Like, do, should I move all the way to here, or should I move here? X. 
Yeah. Because, like, I think that that's where we can exit. And then do another. Oh, that's where the grind takes us. It's like, oh, the grinding is like how far you go. Or maybe you just discover things along the way when you keep going. Let's try that. Maybe we'll discover something. Yeah, maybe we'll discover something. We're using a lot of Oops. Well, there's a question mark. Yeah, that's a new potion. So that <gasps> we could get very so close if we use the fire. We could use the fire bell, and then with the terraria, we could go down a little bit and use another fire bell to get there. Well, we with the water bloom, you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the water, water bloom bells. and then terraria to go down. Yeah. So okay, I. Okay, I have. Uh, we want to go right above it. <laughs> like there. Fire. And the terraria just a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, we don't even need to. We don't even need to grind it. Yeah. But. Here, now it has one on it. And I think if you add water, so I remember, you, then you fall more into... To move the potion towards the center. Yeah, if you're in the circle, you can add a little water to help you get closer into the middle of the... Two. And that's like the level of... Potion. Now, swiftness. Yeah, you know, it can be all speedy. Yes, exactly. So, of course, save the recipe. Yeah. And then finish. So, a anybody that says, like, oh, I'm slow, I need to work faster, my boss is hounding me to finish the job faster, and I can give them a potion of swiftness. Mm -hmm. Or something. Hey, see? Boots with the wings on them. Yeah. Uh, okay, we didn't go so far from... I thought we ended up, like, so too far away. Poisoning, healing, and then we're on swiftness here. Okay. But there's less stuff around here. So... Maybe around here. There's books yeah, here. Yeah, firebell. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of do want to try that. And I get to go through all those books and I explore all that stuff. Mm -hmm. There. Can I try to store Mr. Eston? So, I think you just use loads of, well... Yeah, we could go further there. Yeah. I think we should definitely go further. Yeah, but we should waste. To open the area. <laughs> yeah, just, just this one last potion, and then I think we're good. Yeah. We'll check the shop and see if anybody wants what we have potions for. Mm -hmm. Uh there's something there. Yes, we need a little bit more fire bells and that's it. Yeah. That's it. Right there. Imagine a potion just out of one ingredient. Wow. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to three. Let's see. Uh, 
It's moving back right. That's that's two will be good enough. Yeah, that would be Yeah, it looks like it's a little yeah. Fire! You unlocked a new effect. Of course it's fire since we just used fire. But that's the name of the potion, no? Yeah. Potion of fire. Yeah, yes. And we also just used fireball for it. So that makes sense. Yeah, and it was only fireball we used, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense. Uh, save recipe. recipe. Oh, this, you can only save like uh, 12 yeah. or something. Okay, let's just see if anybody in the shop wants any of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, we left it. Yeah. I accidentally jammed my finger and it still hurts. Maybe you can help. Yeah, no, we don't have, I don't have healing. Wait, but we can make healing. We save that recipe. Right. Okay. So healing. Do we want to get back there? Do we want to get to Raria? And uh, water bloom. I think there's a quick way. Go to those like uh, scrolls or whatever. Up oh. uh, there, you can see your saved ones. So forget. I guess save just means you can still see them on the map. Yeah. But we want to go right and down. So water bloom and terraria, and that that way we get these books also. So let's put some water bloom. And let's get in the middle here. Right, that's it. Right over the heart. Ah, that's a right. And then Terraria. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. We'll see if that takes us all the way. And then we can use some water just to get a little bit. Y yeah. Let's see. Some knowledge. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's you get to the other side. Okay, that, yeah, it's going more out. Well, I could take... I mean, yeah, we could... Just a little it. bit here. And then just get it in the middle there. Too easy, but... Yeah, use a little bit of water. No, you got it back to water. Ooh. Oh, not bad, huh? Yeah. Same recipe, I guess. But, wait, we had this. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But why doesn't it say finish? Yeah, because you didn't, but you didn't start. Oh, 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 this. That was silly. F uh, finish question. Now let's go sell it. Well, you're getting a good one. No, you no, can't yeah. even haggle. Yeah, because now we can haggle. Uh-huh. I guess we could. Well, she said she hurt her finger. What, what would she like to talk about then? Uh, we could talk about mushrooms. There's much to talk about here. Well, we'll try. I think you the this one. So you have to touch all the all the mushrooms, huh? I guess. Yeah. So we we got it for twice the price now. We're selling it for twice, twice the price. This potion will do, but I would pay more for something higher grade. Okay, but you're getting a level two one, and that's gonna be good for your finger. Now, we're not going to make for him unless, or I could sell if I have, but we'll see what he says. Greetings. I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off the hook. 
But that fish had some teeth. Maybe <clears throat> fire? Mm -mm. Yeah, it bit me on the palm and flopped back into the water. Now my hand is swollen. How can I fish now? Oh no, so he wants it, to heal. He also wants to heal. Okay, well, I think this is uh, good for today. Sure, it is day two then, but. That was a fun game. Yeah, yeah, you thought it looked fun? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Glad you liked it. <laughs>